Hello everyone. Welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today I'm going to solve a classic Sudoku created by Tyler Chen, who is very quickly turning out to be a very good solver and also a great author. This Sudoku was taken from the uh, recently concluded Happy New Year 2024 contest on Logic Masters India. Uh, the contest was great. It was really fun to solve some uh, hard Sudokus. Uh, the time was also 150 minutes, so one had plenty of time to give all the Sudokus a try. Uh, if you haven't yet done the uh, given the contest, I advise you to uh, take a look. The Sudokus are really excellent. And uh, I'm going to cover a video on a classic Sudoku, uh, which was the highest pointer, I think. Uh, this was the last classic Sudoku, uh, Sudoku number 6. And uh, I'll try to take you through the uh, logical solve path of this one. Uh, the link to solve this is in the description of the video. I'll also uh, remember to add a link to the um, contest page. Right. So let's start the Sudoku now. Okay, 9s. So I get a 9 in here. 9s in column 4 and 6, so I get a 9 here, just something to start the Sudoku. And you have 4s in um, rows 8 and 9, so I get a 4 here. And 4 is in uh, row 5 and column 9, so that gives me a pointing pair of 4s in column 7. 4 is not in row 5 or column 5 of box 5, so 4 goes here. And no more thing with the 4s. So let's do with the threes, three in column four and five. So that gives me a three here. So which gives a three here. And quickly scanning through the threes doesn't yield much. So one may tend to get deceived by the, uh, you know, dense clustering of given clues here. But trust me, the Sudoku is hard. It's very hard to see the uh, concrete solve path. Okay. Now uh, looking to see if any more corner marking. So two goes in these cells and then two is not in row one. So two goes in these two cells. Okay. Uh, then six is in column seven, six is in row seven. So six goes in here and six in uh, column four and six. So that gives me a six here. So you can see that except for this three, None of the other corner marking or simple scanning uh, is leading to any digit. So which means very soon we need to switch our style to center marking. Uh, so, But before that, let's do a bit more stuff with these corner markings. So 7 goes in one of these two cells because of these 7s. And there is one more 7 which isn't doing anything. Okay, let's start making some center candidates. Starting with box 2, because 5 digits are already placed. 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, so I need 1, 2, 4, 7 here. This is going to be a 1, 4, 7. 2 is not here, so this is a 4, 7 because of this one. And 4 is also eliminated because of this 4. This is 1, 2. Okay. And looking at column 6 now, 1, 5, 6, 3 and 9. So 2, 4, 7, 8. 2, 7, 8. 4, 8 and 2, 7, 8. Okay. Okay, so there is one more nice uh, trick that we could have done right at the start. But uh, since we are too focused on corner marking, I missed it. Look at these cells, 7, 8, 9. They are instantly taken off these three cells. And there are... Oh, uh, another two given clues which are not 789 so which means 789 is going to be uh, pretty restricted in column 9 and you'll see that in column 3 there is one more 789 given clue so there are exactly three cells in column 9 to take the 789 so that is giving us a really nice hidden triplet 7 8 and 9 excellent so that means 6 isn't here so 6 goes here and that gives us some more flow to the Sudoku 6 goes here, not going to mark that. Okay, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. So we need 1, 2, 3, 6. This is 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 6. 
वन टू सिक्स एंड टू थ्री सिक्स ओके सो इफ यू लुक एट रो फोर देर इज ऑलमोस्ट अ ट्रिपलेट अगेन बट सैडली देर इज नो ट्रिपलेट बट मे बी दीज टू सेल्स मे बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू थ्री सेवन एंड सिक्स एट नाइन और एलिमिनेटेड सो दीज विल बी वन फोर एंड फाइव ओके सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टू वन फाइव सो दीज विल बी वन थ्री एंड फोर ओके ऑल राइट uh okay maybe this cell but not much in there 3 4 5 6 2 1 9 so i need 1 7 8 here so this will be 1 or a 7 excellent so uh this will more or less be the solve path taken by the uh solver uh, you need to do all these things before hitting upon the uh, logic but there's still some things uh, to do in here um okay look at this column 3 6 8 and 9 and this area 1 3 6 8 9 so 2 4 5 and 7 this will be 2 5 7 and 7 in here so this will be 2 4 and 5 okay and look at this cell this is a by value candidate 2 6 7 8 3, 4, and 9. So this is going to be a 1 and a 5. Okay. And this cell is also a by value candidate. 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 7, and 8. This is a 5 and 9. So 1, 5, 9 you have in here. So which means the 3 in this uh, box has to be in these cells. But we already have mark 3 in here. So this is going to be a 3. So that is nice. So that gives us a 1, 2 pair in here, which means this will be a 4, 5. Okay. 3, 7, 8, 2, and 6. So 1, 4, 5, 9, right? So these would be 1, 4, and 9. You don't have 5 in these cells. Excellent. Um, so where do we go now? So you can see that the first three columns are barring for the 4, 5 pair hardly have any activity uh, going on right just a few pencil marks here and there but almost completely empty area these kind of sudokus are should be really hard to tackle because your whole action has to come from here okay what do we do now okay this is also an interesting area right ah nice 3 is not in here and not in here. So that gives a pencil mark of 3 here. So which gives a pointing pair of 3's here. And uh, okay, now look at these cells. Many digits are eliminated. 7, 8, 9 and 1 and 3 and 6. So just 3 candidates are left. 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. All except that. So they must be 2, 4, 5. This is 4, 5. And this is going to be a 2, 4, and a 5. Right? So we are almost getting to the point where I'm going to show the trick. Just uh, double checking to see if I've not missed anything. So 1, 3, 9, 7, 8, and 4, and 5. Right? So this will be a 2 or a 6. All right. Excellent. And you can see both of these cells have not made marking because uh, there are more than three possibilities. Right. So I'm, I'll just show you the, uh, you know, the shortcut trick first uh, at this point because I think the digits have drained up properly. Uh, you need to use some logic to continue here. So many solvers, a majority of solvers, in fact, would have been stuck here and probably uh, would have found, resorted to guessing or would have found the logic. But I think a majority would have guessed because it's not something that was easy to see. Anyway, mm, I too guessed. So uh, now look at this row. You have a 4 here. You also have a 4-5 pair here. Now, if you also ask yourself, where does the 5 go in this row? 
you'll very quickly notice that phi can be eliminated here because if five is here then you have a deadly pattern a unique rectangle this pair can never be resolved at the end so we can make use of the fact that the sudoku has a unique solution so if you have this pattern the sudoku is broken and it will have at least two solutions so this is clearly not possible so phi can be eliminated here phi can be eliminated here phi can be placed here and that gives you a lot of digits now i admit i made use of this trick in a different way to get to the logic uh, so i'll show you so i knew that the phi was going to be here so which means this can't be a phi so i was looking to see if i can eliminate phi from this cell by use of some chain or something and i hit upon a chain uh, probably there is something sharper I would dearly love to know that I have not yet uh, checked this classic out in the uh, solver so there may be something better at this point I would probably check after I finish this video at a later stage uh, okay so now uh, but before that 139 2457 so this is going to be 6 or 8 right this is a by value candidate 139 45 and 2 and 7 so that's 6 and 8 now the chain I'm going to show you involves these cells so let's highlight them so what happens if i have a five here is going to be the question let's use yellow must be better so if this is a five let's remove these fours here if this is a five this becomes four and uh not not this way just a second yeah that's way so if you have a five here this becomes four this becomes eight quickly this becomes six and this becomes two so the moment you do that look at this cell this sort of small chain here it can't contain a two it can't contain a four it cannot contain a five so a very sharp chain here and very very tough to see so and i'm not even sure if you can really call this uh, right some sort of logic but uh, if you can if you have seen this visually then you could uh, call this as logic right so phi can be eliminated here because that leaves no digit here right because of this uh, chain that we saw so that also includes this cell so that quickly gave that phi could not be in a row uh, five and column eight so what a beautiful piece of logic in here now let's continue so this gives a one in here and which means this becomes a four nine pair that has to be a five now nice so the logic which we deduce using uniqueness has become true right so how do i continue here so nine four nine pair so we could make use of that this is seven eight nine goes here so I need one, two, seven, eight, right? So this is seven, eight. You can't have one and two here. So again, a seven, eight pair, and which means this will be one and two, and that becomes a two now. This will be one. So all these cells don't take one, two, three, six. And okay, so this becomes four, five. Now let's finish off column seven. This will be three, seven, eight. Fantastic. One in these two cells, so I get one in here. Uh, one in here gives a two here, and that gives a six here, which gives eight here, which gives four here, which gives five here, and a four here. So this complete chain is uh, knocked out okay let's do some tidying up uh, four here gives me seven that gives two that finishes off column eight so there was a two pair uh, two pointing pair here so i get a two here which means this will be five and that will be seven this will be one so just because of this one reduction look how the sudoku is collapsing so this really makes me think that this is the point the solver has to look but i am not certain if there is some other trick in the sudoku so seven here gives me a one here this will be a four and that resolves this four nine pair 
which also results the 7 8 pair 8 7 now this becomes an 8 9 pair this becomes a 3 7 excellent so we are on the right track so that's a 9 that's an 8 1 5 6 7 4 and 8 so 2 in row 6 must go here this will be 6 this will be 3 and by the way uh, we are also planning to cover some more sudokus from the uh, new year contest because i had no clue how to do them during the contest so i'm really eager to give them a try probably we'll make our next video on a determinant sudoku but not yet certain uh, let's see 1 6 and 9 2 3 4 and 7 so this will be 5 8 and now you have fives in here fives in here so which means phi can't be here so phi has to be here that gives a five here okay this will be a seven nine pair and this will be four seven nine okay let's finish up this uh, column finishing up should be proper so this is a nine this will be one six eight and uh, this this is going to be four seven nine no nine here this is four seven and looking at row eight two four five eight six and nine so i need one three seven this is going to be a one this will be a three seven one is not here so uh, okay let's finish up this row this is a one six pair and this row can be finished three in here so uh, almost done okay this looks really likely to break down this will be 6 8 so i also could use a little uniqueness here 3 7 3 7 but it's almost done okay 7 is not here This will be 6, 8 and 9. What am I missing here? I hope I haven't missed a given clue in here. Uh, let me quickly see the actual Sudoku. Sorry for this. Just a second, guys. Uh, oh, what am I doing here? Oh, sorry, I was seeing a different Sudoku. Oh yes, I have missed a given clue guys. I have missed a 6 here. I really apologize for that. There is actually a 6 clue in here. So I am going to just put it inside. Uh, but it didn't really influence the solve. I promise you the 6 here did nothing to the solve at all. So let me put the 6 here and continue. So this is going to be 8 and 9. I will make sure to correct the link uh, that you guys saw. Oh, 4, 7, 9, 7, 7, 3, 7 here gives a 3. And that 4 resolves this 4, 5, so 5, 8, and 6, 1, 4, 5, 7, 2, 3, 9. So I need 1, 6, 8. This is 8, this is 6, and this is 1. And with that, we have completed this really wonderful Sudoku by Tyler Chen. So stay tuned for more videos from us, uh, from this contest. Uh, also, do remember to share your thought process on the Sudoku. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.